Today I want to tell you something that happened with my iPad Pro M5 13 inch. Basically the second day after I had it, I installed a few remote desktop apps I was trying to connect from my computer to the iPad or the other way around. And at some point, I don't know, it was a glitch or something, the iPad froze. It was completely stuck and usually you would do a force restart for the iPad. Normally when the iPad is stuck, you can press the power button here on the side and the volume down all together. And then you have the option to slide to power off or you can even do the option to force restart the iPad. You can also use the, these are the buttons here on the side. iPads have buttons here. This is volume down and volume up. And then you have the power button here. So you have power button, volume down, volume up. These are the buttons. For the iPad, this is the iPad Pro, but most iPads will have these options, at least the recent ones. Okay, so if I wanted, I could also try to I could also try to press volume down, volume up, and power button, long press on the power button, and it shows me this slide to power off. That didn't happen to me. I didn't get that option, so everything was really stuck. The only thing that was working here was the control center, but I could set the iPad to airplane mode. And uh, this was actually something bad because the fix for that was requiring it to be Airplay mode off and connected to the internet. I guess you already kind of understand what the fix for this is, which is not something you want to hear anyway. So yeah, this many things were working, but when I was pressing the thing, the apps were doing like this. They were getting a bit bigger, just a bit, and then go back. Like I didn't do anything. They wouldn't open the app itself. So the apps themselves, they were not opening, but they were looking like they were going to open. I could scroll left and right, I could do all that, but no apps were opening except for the control center here. And I had one app, it was here in this corner. I think it's a problem. I had one app here, it was showing, I think it was one of the network apps I had or the virtual desktop apps. It was showing here in the corner and I was trying to move it. It would move a little bit, but not enough to bring it in front. I suspect it's something, a bug with the, the this multi-window mode, the desktop manager, this multi-window. And the solution for this, unfortunately, because you cannot restart the iPad. And uh, I guess if you have time, you have patience, you could try to wait until the battery is drained completely and then the iPad shuts down and you could try to see if it recovers after a restart. You could also try to plug in the iPad and see if the iPad becomes responsive, especially if the screen is off. If the screen is off, maybe you just need to charge the iPad, that's all. But in my case, the screen was on. So this is pretty rare, I believe. It doesn't happen. If this happened to you, please write a comment below because it's very interesting how this could happen. The solution for a frozen iPad where it, nothing works, you cannot restart it, you cannot start apps, only the control center works. This is some uh, indication of the same, if it's the same problem, then it's better if you have, once you do the remote wipe, the iPad will restart, it will start the process, and then it will be locked to your account. So you have to be able to get to the iPad and enter your credentials, username and password to be able to unlock it. Then otherwise it's locked to user because it's an iCloud lock basically like this. But if you do this, you cannot see where it is. So this is in this situation, it's when the iPad is frozen, it's stuck, and not when you lost it. If you lost the iPad, it's better to leave it. Maybe someone finds it so you can even see the location of the iPad. You can do the remote wipe from your iPhone, and this makes all the data on the iPad deleted. So just to be clear, you will lose everything that's on the iPad all the apps will be gone, all the data, pictures, files, everything. And the way to get this back is through a restore of a backup. If you have a backup, if you don't have a backup, don't do this because maybe there is a better way, an easier way to do this. And then you can um, get your files back. But in this situation, I didn't really have anything valuable on the iPad. Most of the apps that I care about on the iPad have a, a sync with the cloud option. So everything is there already when you restore it so to do the remote wipe you go to the find my app on the iphone in the find my app you go to devices here so i'm on devices and then you have make sure you select the correct device you don't want to reset remote wipe the wrong device i even have my 3gs here iphone 3gs so you tap on the device you want to wipe 
and this is the device, it's even showing you some picture there. I can try to play a sound. So it's, it says that it's playing. Okay, so it did play the sound and okay, I will stop that so it's not too loud. And here you have the option. Then if you scroll further down, you have the option to set the iPad into lost mode, but also you can erase it. So if I tap erase, you can also erase it. So if I tap erase, it's going to give me the information. It's going to warn me that all the contents and settings will be erased. When this iPad is connected to the internet, all the contents will be erased. Also an erased iPad cannot be tracked. So this is might be a good idea not to do this if you lost it. But in this case, it's not lost. It's just frozen. It's stuck. And this is a way that works for me. I tried it. It did work. So the iPad was frozen. I could open the apps. I could try to open the apps. Nothing was working. So here, if you continue, after a few moments, the iPad will start to show the processing, the Apple logo, and then it's continuing the reset. If it doesn't do that, make sure it's connected to the Wi-Fi. The iPad needs to connect to the internet because the Find My Network, iCloud, will go to the iPad and say to erase, to start the erase process. That's how you do it. Once the erase is finished, you can set up the iPad, but you have to enter your account information because it's going to be locked to your username. You're, it's going to be locked to your own. Also during the process, you can enter a phone number in case this is really that you're doing it, that the iPad is lost. Someone could see a phone number where they could call you to give you the iPad back. I will make another video where I actually do the reset. So I show you how exactly how it works and I might link it in the description. If you have any important data on the iPad, don't do this. Try to take a backup of the iPad also if you're doing that. And if that works, it might not work anymore. But yeah, the key point here is you lose your data if you do this and you do this. The key point here is that this is your own responsibility. You do this at your own risk and you will lose the data on the iPad. And if you don't have a backup of the iPad, then you have to do everything from zero, set up everything, including files, pictures, anything you might have is gone if they are not in iCloud and they are not copied somewhere else. Usually there will be the backup settings and backup for iCloud should be enabled, but it depends on the iCloud plans that you might have. I hope this helps you unfreeze your iPad Pro M5 13 inch or even 11 inch. And if, it, if this happened to you, let me know what you were doing, how it happened. Maybe we find some pattern or something. Maybe it's a problem with the iOS 26. This is on iOS 26 now here. This iPad is running iOS 26. iPad Pro 13 inch M5. That's the model number. This iPad yesterday, literally yesterday, it froze like that and I had to do a restore through the remote wipe, the erase option in the Find My app in the iCloud. But the iPad is back, it's working. It seemed like a software bug, so hopefully it's gonna be fixed. Nobody else has this problem. Thanks for watching.